Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. In this video, this is going to be episode video one of five. It's going to be a five series videos of me calling live, L-I-V-E, to automotive dealerships. I'm going to explain this. We're in the era of the worst salesman in the history of time. If you're not training with me, you're going to get crushed. Check these calls out. Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm gonna hit this sales guy with an objection. Let's start the call. Uh, man, we'll speak in, how can I help you? Hey, how are you doing today? I was gonna check on the availability of a vehicle. Okay, and which one is that, sir? It's gonna be a 2019 Dodge Ram. Um, I've got the stock number, it's a charcoal gray one. Yeah, I just saw that one. Hold on, bro, I'm not hit by a window. Let me just, uh, what's the stock number? It's, I'm just pull the keys on it. It's 126. 412A. Now watch guys. Okay. He hasn't... What's your name, bro? Uh, my name's Andy. Hello? Andy. 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 Right, Andy. Andy. Please don't be okay. Andy, please don't be full, okay? Okay. Okay, one of the things is you don't want to say what's your name, bro. Okay? I've got him on mute, but you don't want to say what's your name, bro. Now at the end of the day, he said, let me go check and pull the keys out. Let me ask you this. Where's the rapport? And as I say this to you, I'm gonna ask this. People don't care about how much you know till they know how much you care. Am I right? Are we showing anybody how much we care about them? The answer is absolutely not. If you wanna know right now why I say we're in the era of the worst salesperson in the history of time, is because all we're doing is handing out information, again, like McDonald's. It's just the truth. What are you calling on? Do you have the stock number? What's your name, bro? Hey, Andy? Yes, sir. Hey, yeah, Andy is here. It's here and it is. Okay, awesome. Um, I saw it on I saw it online for thirty nine nine. Yeah. Um, what's your best price? Uh, let me see. If there's a special window sticker on it. That takes some people, okay? Okay. Now, at the end of the day, all he would have to do is overcome the price objection. But what he's doing is he's going out to see if there's a special price on the window. Now, I want you to think about it. Is there any communication with me and this salesperson? Has he built any type of rapport? Has he made me feel like that in my gut, I have found the right place to do business with? The answer is absolutely not. So what happens is it's just cold questions. Look, the sale can't be closed till it's open. You'll hear me say it all the time. And by the way, do I want a warm customer on the phone or a cold one? Well, the salesperson's job is to get the sell warm. None of that has taken place. This is why training is more important than anything else in the world. Look, who makes more money or does a better job? A trained salesperson or an untrained salesperson? A trained salesperson. Who makes it a better customer experience? A trained salesperson or an untrained salesperson? Is this guy giving me a show worth paying for? Is he giving me great customer service? Well, the answer is no, not at all. How do we fix this? How do we change it? It's very simple. It's called training. If this guy was training with me right now for five to 10 minutes a day over my phone sales training course, do you know what would happen? The digital platform that I have over 1,600 dealers across the country training on, this guy right now would be able to do a great job. And by the way, I've been on hold now for two minutes while he's checking the window. Now I'm gonna ask this. I didn't ask him to go check the window. I just asked him, I said, what's your best price? And then I got put back on a hold. I'm gonna say this. This is going on in 99% of the sales dealerships across the world. Now, you can either keep losing money and bleeding it to your competition, or you can train your people. I'll continue to hold until he gets back. Okay guys, now listen, I'm still waiting, right? Now, I really don't know if this guy went and really checked the window, or maybe he went to the bathroom, I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure that a dealer paid about $500 to get this lead. Now this lead came in, and even though this is a, um, a mystery shopper call, okay, what would happen if this was a real customer? That 50,000 a month in advertising that the dealer spent to get this phone call, right? 20,000, 100,000, whatever your company spends. Is this really how Ransom calls? It sure is. Hey, how you doing, Andy? Yeah, hello? Sorry for the way. Uh, I did talk to my man. It was about getting you your best deal. We do our best deals at the very end of the month, which is today. 
and this one is aggressively priced. There's no, you know, games of gimmicks, no markup, especially in this market. So 39.9 would be like the best price I can get you if you were here. You know, we were gonna deal. Maybe I can save you a couple of hundred bucks more, but that price is pretty firm at 39.9. I'm not saying no, but I'm also saying it's very, very competitive for that one. Hey, I totally appreciate it. Okay, buddy. Well, I appreciate it, and I'll just keep shopping around. Okay, you want to come in and look at it and see if you like it? Uh, no, I know it's a nice truck. It's only got 21,000 miles. It's a one owner. I mean, it sounds like it's really nice. So I just want to see if I can get a better deal. But for a couple hundred bucks, I'll just keep shopping. But I appreciate you. There's not a lot of trucks out there. I mean, uh, you can, I know you've been shopping. No, no, there is a lot of trucks. I mean, I'm doing the research right now. There is a lot. It's kind of, they're kind of scarce. Yeah, no, I, I, I found... I, 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 yeah, no, I found... Like, the market I've, price. Yeah, so I found about 15 of them. So I'm just going to go check them out. And actually, you're the highest price one in the market right now. So um, I just called because I like this color, but I've seen a bunch of them, about 1,500 or less. So I'm just going to make another call. I appreciate you. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay, guys, so that phone call right there, not only did it take him 10 minutes to get back with me, which I stayed on the phone just because I was wanting to hear what the heck he was going to say, in the end, he gave me some Kelly Blue Book deal, right? And then told me how it was the best price. His communication skills weren't great. And at the end of the day, I don't know why this guy's on the phone taking the phone calls for the dealership. It's the last day of the month. This could be an easy sell if he would have handled it right. Let's make another call. Yeah, I was calling to check the availability of a pre-owned car. Okay, what vehicle is that? Um, it's gonna be a 2018 Ford Focus Blue. Andy? Andy, is it BSE? Yes, it sure is. This is the vehicle. It's still available. Did you want to come in and take a look at it? Um, yeah, I was just calling to see, number one, if it was still available. And then secondly, I wanted to ask, what would be your best price? Um, well, right now it's at 14188 Any kind of discounts or negotiations would be done with our used car directors since it is the last Um, no, actually, I just wanted to call over the phone. Usually, I deal with most of my stuff over the internet, so I just wanted to see what would be your best price. Sure. Okay. Well, right now, it's fourteen one eighty eight plus tax title waiver. Okay, so you're saying I can't get a better deal? Uh, any kind of discounts are done in store with our sales manager. So right now, the market price would still be at fourteen one eighty eight plus email. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Bye bye. Now listen, I'm gonna tell you this, that had to be the worst sales call I've ever seen in the history of my life. Look, I'm gonna tell you this, right? At the end of the day, is she a salesperson? Look, she's a tour guide. She's an order taker, okay? She said, that's our vehicle. We'll give you a better price if you come in. Well, I said, well, look, I'm shopping over the internet. Can I get a better price? And she went back clearly to stand firm. Her 14,188, that's gonna be your best price, plus tag title license, et cetera. Now I'm gonna explain this to you. At the end of the day, did she have any kind of relationship with me? Do I want to make any kind of concessions for a salesperson like that? Do I know her? Does she know where I'm from? Does she know who the car's for? Does she know how my day's going? No, because she didn't ask any of it. Do you understand this? When I say we're in the era of the worst salesperson in the history of time, why I say it, did you smell a little bit of ego on her? Did you smell a little bit of entitlement? That like, if I'll come in and pay it, cool. If I'm not gonna come in, cool. She doesn't care either way. The way that I was raised in the automotive industry is that every single customer was not an opportunity, it was my mission. It was my mission to make sure that they came in and purchased a vehicle. Now I'm gonna tell you this, if that was her mission, she would have got me in. But it wasn't, she's entitled. She's viewing it as an opportunity. Like if I buy, cool, if I don't, next. Now how does the GM, the owner, the people who are spending $50,000 a month in advertising to get phone calls like this come in, how do they want these calls to be handled? I assure you they want them to be handled great, and they're not. Guys, look, if you want your team to become the best in the world, if you're an automotive sales pro and you wanna be the best and you wanna get paid what you're worth, you have got to train. 
Being untrained will cost your dealership hundreds of thousands of dollars net profit a month. And as a sales pro, it could cost you up to 30,000 a month net income in your pocket. Guys, shoot me a text, 918-210-0254. Guys, let me show you how to be the best in the world on the phone. And by the way, right now with COVID-19 going on, all these new sicknesses coming in, you think people are using the phone a little bit more now than they used to? Absolutely. Now's the time in the era to be deadly on the phone. I can teach you how to do it. Reach out.